Welcome to Chatham Intra and my heritage walks for the Ebb and Flow Festival. Ebb and Flow is a creative estuary commission uncovering hidden histories of the conservation area between Star Hill and Sun Pier, celebrating them with a series of arts events. Chatham Intra is the traditional name for the area where Rochester High Street meets Chatham, but for the purposes of this video I shall refer to the whole conservation area as Chatham Intra, or just Intra. This is an area less than a mile long end to end and is a cultural microcosm of the Medway Towns as a whole. Aesthetically, Chatham Intra is a hodgepodge of architectural styles with some fine examples of Georgian townhouses, lovely Victorian and Edwardian residential and commercial buildings and some of the worst in 1960s and 70s design. It's an area that's been neglected for many years but it has some great restorations and works in progress. A mix of light industrial, retail and residential, all cheek by jowl, with many of the former industrial and retail buildings repurposed by the arts and creative practitioners. One thing for certain is that Chatham Intra is an area loved by many people, those that work here, live here or are just fascinated by its remarkable history. My name is Robert Flood and I'd like to take you on a virtual tour of Intra. This skips around geographically and chronologically and won't cover every aspect of Intra but will give you a great feel for the tremendous and often incredible heritage packed into such a small area. We'll look at the river and its importance to Intra through the years, providing not only jobs and industry, but an identity for many of the local residents. We'll cover the music scene and the key venues that have hosted everyone from the Rolling Stones and Little Richard to the creators of the Medway Sound, music that has influenced and inspired genres as diverse as grunge, acid jazz and Madchester. We'll look at one of the key theatres that helped make Chatham the UK's biggest centre of music hall and variety theatre outside the West End of London. A development driven by the coming of the railways that resulted in the biggest names of the day performing here. The likes of Houdini, Charlie Chaplin, W.C. Fields, Mary Lloyd and Dan Leno to name a few. Talking of the railways, we'll look at the fascinating story of Victorian entrepreneurialism and bloody-minded competition that brought the railway system we benefit from today into being. We'll discover the long and fascinating history of the Jewish community in Medway, a story that goes back to the 12th century and has direct links to the railway, the music hall and Brunel. We'll uncover the history of brewing and pubs and find out how the area supported not only the two local breweries, but also had warehouses and agents from as far afield as Walteringbury and London. We'll look at the heyday of retail in Intra and the novel sales techniques that enabled one family to expand their department store empire across Kent and even into Scotland. We'll find out about how the LGBT community coalesced around one particular pub in Intra and the way that pub became a safe haven and support for the community as well as a social centre and place of entertainment. And if all that sounds like a lot of history for such a small area, that really is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. 